Before you begin, you want to make sure that you have a stroke and no fill. And you want to make sure that you have a bright color because it, it gets a little bit hard to see your outline as you're tracing the shape. The way that we're going to do this today is we're going to trace this shape and then copy and paste it over here because it is the same shape. And then you're going to move on to this shape and then that shape. Let's begin. You want to zoom in while you're working because it's a lot easier to see what you're doing if you are closer to your shape. To start out, I'm going to click and you can decide how far you want to go on here and as you work with the tool, you will find out what works best. But basically, you want to give yourself a little bit of space and click and drag until you are matching this curve right here. You want to make sure that this handle is going the direction you want it to go. So again, I will click and drag. Not as much that time. Really depends on the curve how much you drag. And I think I'll go right here. And here. Now here, um, I have an issue. I'm still holding down on my mouse, but I'm going to be changing directions. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt, and notice when I hold down Alt, my handle is going this direction, which is the direction that I want to go. And now we're going to round this corner. Every time that the curve seems to turn, I'm going to go ahead and add another anchor. If I mess up, like if I zoom in here, I can see that that's not exactly where I want to be. I can just Command Z and try again. And click and drag. And this is telling me that maybe this was not, or this was too far. So I'm going to come back a little bit. Whenever you feel like something doesn't look right, always undo. It's best to fix it while you're at it, rather than to try to get it later. When these curves become longer, you don't have to have quite as many points. So I'm going to click up here, which is quite a ways away from the point that I just did. Remembering that I want my anchor, or my handle rather, to be going the same direction as the curve. Let's see if that one looks right. Okay, so this has a very funny bump here, and let's take a look at that without the background layer. If you're ever wondering what your what your drawing is going to be looking like, you just turn off the image and see how this has a very strange bump. That's telling me that um, I either went too far or that this curve right here is not correct. So I'm going to turn the visibility back on and undo that stroke. And I'll try just bringing it in a little bit. And I'm just not quite getting it. So I'm going to undo this last one and move it down a little bit. This picture actually is a little skewed, so I'm not going to worry about trying to get it perfect because the picture is not perfect. Okay, now, there we have that shape, and if we take the visibility off, you can see what that looks like. There it is, and there it is with the shape. Now, I could go ahead and trace this other side, and I could make this shape 
Um, or I could select this shape and copy it and flip it and place it on the other side. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to use what's called the Reflect tool. It is located underneath the Rotate tool. Click on the Reflect tool and what we're going to do is double click on the tool. When you do that, you will get this Reflect pop-up and it'll ask you if you want a horizontal or a vertical flip for this particular drawing. We want it vertical because we want to go from here to here. And we could either click OK and flip it or we can say we want to make a copy. We want to make a copy because we want to keep the original. So here's my original and this is my copy. Before you try to move this shape, remember to change back to your selection tool and click and drag it across. You can hold down shift to make sure that it stays um, at the same height as your original and drag it until it is right over your other shape. And let's see what we've got thus far. You have half of your fluid relief finished. Two of our shapes are done. Now we're just ready for the big middle shape and this smaller shape. Okay, so let's grab that pen tool again and I'm gonna zoom back in and click on the point. And since this is quite a straight edge here, I'm gonna go to the middle of that straight edge and just drag slightly. It's a very slight curve and make sure that my handle is heading the right direction. And I should be able to go to the hump of this curve right here. Let's find out. There, that looks good. And coming down, I'm gonna go kinda just past that curve. Again, making sure that my handle is going the right direction. And right here is where the curve kind of starts to turn back out. So I'll do that right there in the middle of that curve. And right here where it starts to turn. And right at the edge of that curve. You're getting the idea of when you can, you can add a new point. The less points that you add, the less anchor points you add, the more smooth or organic this shape is going to look. And especially for this shape, that's what you want. Now, you'll notice that I have a line, this green line um, that shows up. This is actually, if I zoom out, this is showing that it is going to be aligned with this first point that I made. I do want to align it to that point, And I'll show you why here in just a minute. So I'm going to click there, and I have half of this shape finished. Again, I could recreate this other side, but notice that this side is exactly the same as this side over here. So instead of redrawing it, I am all about saving time and, um, and not doing more work than I have to. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. You need to switch to your selection tool. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Double click, vertical, copy, and there's our shape. Select our selection tool again. Click and drag. Hold down shift if you want to make sure that it's exact. And let's take a look. There's our fleur-de-lis so far.